Once again, negative exponents have nothing to do with whether it's positive or negative. So the first problem I want to just show you is 3 to the negative second power. Okay, once again, the negative exponent talks about location, location, location. So when you see this, you can change the location. Right now we could rewrite this as just a fraction over 1. And I'm going to change the location. Right now it's in the numerator. I'm going to change the location from the numerator down to the denominator. So this here, when it changes location, it also changes sign. So this is now 3 to the second in the denominator. Wacky. I agree. It's weird. Didn't say it was not weird. <laughs> but this is not equal to 0. So we don't want to put a 0 here. So what's going to be our place keeper in the numerator is that this is 1. Because we can say this is 1 times and it'll still work. So 3 to the negative second is just another way of writing 1 9. 3 squared equals 1 ninth. Wacky. Okay, now let's deal with something that have variables in them. So, if you see a number in the denominator, you can change the location, location, location. So I can change this. It was in the denominator. I'm going to change it up to the numerator. And when I change the location, I'm also going to change the sign on the exponent. So it was x to the third. It's now going to be x to the negative third. So 1 over x to the third is equal to x to the negative third. These are equivalent expressions. And you should be able to notice and identify these as being equal to each other. Okay, this one is y to the negative second power. So I'm going to change the location from here down to the denominator. And when I change the location, I also have to change the sign on the exponent. It was negative 2. When I change it, it becomes positive 2. And once again, this is not equal to 0. So we need a placeholder in the numerator, and that's going to be 1. So these two are equal to each other. They don't look like it, do they? I got gotcha. you. They look weird. Now, over here, x to the negative fourth times y. The only one that has a negative exponent and the only one that's going to change location is the x. So the y is still exactly where it is. It did not have a negative exponent, so it doesn't change location. The x has a negative exponent, so it's going to change from the numerator to the denominator. And when it changes location, it changes the sign on the exponent. So this is now positive 4. Whew! They're getting trickier here. <laughs> Just giving you an overview of all the weird types of negative exponent problems you can think. This here is a negative 2. It's not an exponent. You're not changing the location. It's just a negative number. So this negative 2 is still there. The x does not have a negative exponent. It stays exactly where it was. However, the y to the negative 3, that has a negative exponent, so we can change the location from the denominator up to the numerator. When it changes location, that negative 3 becomes a positive 3. You can write this over as over 1, but since it's over 1, and anything divided by 1 is just that number, you can just leave it like that. Wacky, wacky, wacky. Practice practice, practice, location, location, location.